Neonut77 asks, are you religious? If so, which religion do you believe and why? I am not religious. I have pseudo-spiritual beliefs, but they're just pseudo because basically I think we just can't know. I see patterns, I see things that are just too much to be coincidences. I and I just look at it as you know, there's stuff that we're probably never going to understand, at least not in this not in my lifetime. Um you know, maybe when I'm dead and gone, maybe 200 years from now, people will get more of an understanding of these sorts of things. But right now, it's like, you know, it's... It, there are things that will happen sometimes where... I mean, you could be thinking about something for a moment. And you, could, you could be at the, some location, and you think to yourself, Wow, wouldn't it be cool if, if, if this sort of thing could happen? And then just suddenly in front of you, that very thing happens, and a bunch of other things kind of build up with it. And it's just like, okay, how is this even possible? How is this even fucking possible? Lots of little things like that that go on, you know? You think about something, and then bam, it happens. I can't look at those things as, oh, that's just a coincidence. No, that's just too incredibly... No, no, I'm just, I'm sorry, no. I'm not going to put it as some sort of god. I'm not going to put it as some sort of, uh, you know, specific phenomenon. It's just, I don't know how this happened, but I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy this moment. I'm going to savor this moment. I'm not going to look at it as, oh, well, wouldn't it be nice if it could be something more, but it's probably just a coincidence, and I'm just going to write it off as a coincidence. It's meaningless. No, it was fucking cool. And so... I mean, it can even go into things like, like numbers. You can be, you could see some number that just for some reason gets stuck in your head. And then for the next several days, you could end up, that number keeps coming up over and over and over again. Now, I know that there's truth to the element of whatever you, whatever you have your mind on, you're going to notice more, you know? There's truth to that. There's absolutely truth to that. I mean, if you're looking for trouble and you go in some shitty neighborhood, you're probably going to find trouble. You know, if you go to a bar and you're expecting to to have pe see people get violent, you know, you might end up getting involved in something like that because you're expecting it. You know, there's that definitely happens. But this kind of thing just... I'm sorry, there are too many situations I've been in where it's just, no, that is too much of a fucking... That's too much to be just a coincidence. So I just look at it as we don't know. I don't think we can know, at least not right now. We can't know right now. And it really bothers me when I see people saying, just when anything like that comes up, they're just immediate, they're like, no, it's meaningless. It doesn't, it doesn't have any meaning at all. It's a total coincidence. Uh, you shouldn't even think about that. And to me, those people are just as bad as the religious people who say it absolutely is something. It absolutely is something. Saying it absolutely isn't something is just as bad as saying it absolutely is something when you don't have proof. There's no proof. There's no way of really knowing. Um, so, I consider myself an atheist in that loose sort of way, in that way of I don't believe in a biblical God at all. Um, I mean, at all. I think that the whole idea of an anthropomorphic god is just ridiculous. Just utterly fucking ridiculous. The idea that the universe revolves around some being that thinks humans are the center of everything. Oh, give me a break. The vastness of the universe. Just the vastness of what's on this planet. Oh yes, we're just the ones that are thought about some... No, we're not that important. We're animals. And that's all we are. So... In any of these these religions that shove forth this idea that puts humans up on some pedestal above everything, it just no, no, rubbish, just rubbish. It's it's crap, just total rubbish. Um, so yeah, those are my views. Um, 
I believe we can't know. And for someone to claim that we know, or someone to claim that it absolutely isn't something, they're just as bad as each other. Just as bad. You know, I think it's best to have an open mind and to just, when you don't know something, you say you don't know something. Don't do this absolute assumption. Yes, something is probable, that doesn't mean it's absolutely true. Something is improbable, that doesn't mean it's absolutely not true. So, that's my view.